Hey there. Uh, today I will show you. Today I will show you a really quick trick on how to do this uh, go into darkness transition. It looks something like this. So let's jump into Final Cut and I'll show you how to do that. And uh, this is the transition we're looking for, which I think looks really organic. The only thing I do here besides the speed ramping effect here. Not even a speed ramping effect, I have speed on this clip and I start this with the little speed. But the other thing I do is I have a, I have an exposure layer here which fades down the image and fades this up really smoothly. So the adjustment layer you can find down in the link below. You will need these adjustment layers to be able to make this kind of transitions. It will help you in a lot of instances, so just download those adjustment layers if you don't have them. What you will need then is so I will just take these two clips. I will copy them over here to replicate the effect. I'll press the clip, press Shift N just to make these the same versions as they were before. <clears throat> And when I have this clip here, it goes into a quite a quite of a dark place. So I just thought that to make this transition instead of looking like that, we can make these fade into each other. First off, you will uh, have you you will need to speed this clip up to have this speed effect I've had. You press A, you mark the clip, press Command R to bring this up. Press the button down fast make make it eight times the, f the speed then you'll need a just a little bit of speed ramping here so you'll zoom into this clip and we take it like that i press a i mark it where i want the speed ramping to begin i press shift b then i'll just drag this in or press the key down the arrow down and i press fast maybe four times the speed yeah, that is sufficient. Now we'll lower down this one. Now what you want to do is you want to go up here to text layers. You want to find your some kind of adjustment layer. I have a lot of different ones. I just use this this adjustment layer from So I bring this down and I will shorten it to maybe make it last about yeah, 5 frames. Two, three, four, five, something like that. And I will go, I will mark this base layer. I will go up here, press the little triangle icon there. I will press this key down here, press color board. And here you can play around with the exposure level levels. So you will add a keyframe and you want the middle part of this adjustment layer to be pretty blacked out. Something like uh, not totally blacked out but maybe something like that i will go forward mark it down here go to the right with the arrows press there and i will boost this up to zero percent and i will just go to the beginning of this uh, adjustment layer and i will also drag this up here now you'll have Like a little blink there. I would maybe want this to be even a bit longer, so it this feels a bit jerky. So I'll drag this out to the right. I will go to the press the key here, remove that one, and instead add the keyframe over here. When you've added a keyframe somewhere along this adjustment layer, it will automatically add keyframes to the other parts where you make adjustments. This is a lot better. Yeah. You can just press the speed ramp bar here. So if you press that one there, you will uh, gain access to the part only the speed ramped part in order to make adjustment to the volume just there. Yeah. I think that looks good. 
So that's the effect guys, that's how you do it. If you found the video to be helpful, please leave a thumbs up. I make these kinds of tutorials every week, uh, Wednesday, I post them Wednesdays. So if you like them and you think they're helpful, just subscribe and you will get notifications when there is another video out. Okay, thank you. <laughs>